Every human life begins with a story that unfolds long before fertilization, long before conception, long before anyone knows it's happening. A story written deep inside the testes, cell by cell, division by division, day by day. 74 days. That's how long it takes to create a single sperm from scratch. Not seconds, not minutes, not hours, but more than two months of continuous construction, refinement and cellular engineering. Most people imagine sperm as simple, tiny swimmers. But the truth is far more intricate. Because each sperm is the result of thousands of cellular decisions, dozens of transformations and microscopic craftsmanship happening in perfect sequence. Why does the body take 74 days? Why so long? What processes unfold inside those coiled tubules? And how does a round, unspecialised cell become a streamlined, DNA-carrying traveller built for one mission? Imagine a factory, one that never stops. Imagine millions of cells dividing, transforming, aligning. Imagine quality control checkpoints. Imagine microscopic sculptors shaping a head, a midpiece, a tail. Imagine the slow formation of potential. This is spermatogenesis, the creation of sperm. A journey hidden but essential, delicate but unstoppable, precise but endlessly repeated. To understand male fertility, we must go inside the seminiferous tubules, the Sertoli cells, the developing germ cells, and the 74-day cycle that builds the smallest but most crucial contributors to human life. Let's go inside. To understand spermatogenesis, we begin with the architecture. Inside each testis lie over 300 metres of seminiferous tubules if stretched end to end. Long coiled structures where sperm cells are born, shaped and prepared. Lining the tubules are two essential cell types. Sertoli cells, the nurse cells that support and protect developing sperm, and germ cells, the raw material that slowly transforms into spermatozoa. Spermatogenesis begins with spermatogonia, stem cells resting on the outer edge of each tubule. These cells divide continuously, one cell remaining as a stem cell, the other committing to the long journey of development. This journey takes 74 days and unfolds in three major phases. The mitotic phase, the meiotic phase and the spermiogenesis phase. Each phase essential, each phase irreversible. In the mitotic phase, spermatogonia divide to expand the pool of developing cells, creating primary spermatocytes which prepare for the next step. The step that reshapes genetic material. In the meiotic phase, primary spermatocytes undergo meiosis, a special form of cell division that halves the chromosome number, creating haploid cells, genetically unique, ready to contribute one half of future DNA. This is the biological moment that introduces genetic variety, the natural mixing and reshuffling that ensures every human is different. In the final phase, spermiogenesis, round spermatids begin to transform. They elongate, condense their DNA, build a tail, form an acrosome and prepare for mobility. By the end of 74 days, a fully formed sperm is ready to leave the seminiferous tubules and enter the epididymis for final maturation. But to truly appreciate this timeline, we must zoom in to the microscopic transformations that build a sperm cell step by step. Inside the seminiferous tubules, the 74-day creation of sperm is a carefully choreographed sequence of transformations, 
each stage essential for function, structure and survival. 1. Mitotic expansion, building the foundation. Spermatogonia divide repeatedly, creating primary spermatocytes. These cells move inward, step by step, progressing to the centre of the tubule as they mature. Sertoli cells anchor and nourish them, regulating temperature, nutrients and signalling molecules. 2. Meiosis I – Reducing the chromosomes Primary spermatocytes divide into secondary spermatocytes, each now carrying half the genetic information. Meiosis reshuffles DNA, producing unique combinations, ensuring genetic diversity. 3. Meiosis II – Creating Spermatids Secondary spermatocytes divide again, forming spermatids, round, small and genetically complete but structurally unfinished. The raw prototypes of future sperm. 4. Spermiogenesis – Sculpting the final form Here, the real craftsmanship begins. Spermatids elongate. DNA condenses and coils tightly, becoming protected for travel. The acrosome forms, a cap filled with enzymes needed to penetrate the egg. Mitochondria cluster in the midpiece, forming an energy powerhouse. The tail, flagellum, develops for movement. The cell goes from round to aerodynamic, from immobile to built for motion. 5. Quality control and release. Sertoli cells perform constant quality checks. Defective cells are removed. Healthy ones move forward. After full transformation, the developing sperm are released into the lumen of the tubule in a process called spermiation. 6. Transport to the epididymis. Freshly formed sperm are not yet motile. They drift passively into the epididymis, where they will spend days gaining motility, resilience and the ability to fertilise an egg. This entire journey, from spermatogonium to released sperm, takes exactly 74 days on average, a cycle that repeats continuously throughout life. But the true climax of this process is understanding why evolution shaped such a long timeline. The climax of the 74-day journey is the moment a fully formed sperm leaves the Sertoli cell's protection, entering the tubule lumen. No longer a developing cell, but a completed one, streamlined, stable and genetically ready. Why does this take so long? because every feature of a sperm is the result of meticulous design. The head must be condensed enough to protect DNA, yet light enough to move. The acrosome must contain precise enzymes for penetrating the egg. The midpiece must hold enough mitochondria to power hours of swimming. And the tail must be engineered for rapid, repetitive motion. Any rush development could lead to DNA errors, motility defects or structural abnormalities, compromising fertility. The 74-day cycle ensures accuracy, stability and resilience. By the time the sperm enters the epididymis, it is one of the most specialised cells in the human body, built for speed, endurance and precision. The long creation time is not a delay, it is a safeguard, a slow, careful construction process that prepares the smallest cell for the most significant mission. Spermatogenesis reveals a powerful truth, that even the smallest forms of life require extraordinary preparation. A single sperm is the product of 74 days of transformation, thousands of cell divisions, intense quality control, and delicate structural refinement. A journey hidden but essential, slow but precise. It reminds us that biology does not rush, 
it builds, layer by layer, ensuring genetic information is carried safely, ensuring movement is possible, ensuring life can begin. The testes become factories of potential. The seminiferous tubules become landscapes of constant renewal. And Sertoli cells become guardians and teachers, shaping every stage of development. Spermatogenesis is not just cell creation. It is architectural craftsmanship, a story of transformation and specialization, a quiet process that unfolds continuously throughout a lifetime. Perhaps the deeper lesson is this. Life begins long before fertilization, long before conception, in the slow, intentional work of cells preparing for a future moment they may never reach. 74 days, a long journey, a remarkable creation.